Hey, Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So in the last episode, Nagito told us that he hit a bomb that would destroy the whole entire island, and we've all split up to search all the different islands. Luckily, there's enough of us to search each one, and we're supposed to search here. So let's search um, Usami's house first. And something that I just, I thought about, like, you know how Nagito, like, always seems to be in the know about everything? I don't think he actually is. I think his luck is so good that even his guesses are extra lucky. The door is open? Looks like I can go inside, but it's possible that the bombs were hidden in here. Alright, let's go. <laughs> There's Usami's uh, theme music. Oh, wow. How should I describe this place? It's so coinly cute that I feel like I'm going to be sick. Oh, hello. Ah! I'm on me. No! Why is Hachimi in my house? The door was wide open. <laughs> as soon as she heard that, Monami waddled to the door and... That's... No, it's broken! My security system is broken! The robber probably did it! Robber? <laughs> no, a robber is no excuse. A female teacher with this young boy student in her house is just inappropriate! Yeah! No, I've been sweated with disgrace! <laughs> Jeez, she's noisy. So, um, what's with the, this? What the heck is this? Wanna need plush, plushies on hangers? Stop it! Don't go touching my things without permission! They're important! Your own plushies? You must love yourself, just like Monokuma. That's wrong! You're wrong! Please don't compare me to that thing! <laughs> you don't even have enough- You don't even have enough delicacy! Entering a woman's house without her permission and touching her things makes your teacher very sad. Got it? This will not be allowed. Hockey man needs a class in morality. Delicacy and morality? I don't think those things have anything to do with each other. That's right! I shall give you a special private lesson after school. Miss Monami will slowly and thoroughly give you a good teaching- Um... Oh, uh, oh, that sounds really inappropriate! Uh, oh, once again, I've been slaughtered with disgrace! Such a sticky and gooey disgrace! Oh my god. You're the one who started saying it. <laughs> hmm, what else can I look at? Um... Oh uh, yeah, monitors. Are these monitors? They're not displaying anything right now, but why are there so many? Are you monitoring us with these? <gasps> so I was right. The surveillance cameras all over the island and the footage those cameras are recording. You were watching that footage on these monitors. You were monitoring us, weren't you? <laughs> Until Monokuma appeared. I no longer have my magic stick and because of that, Monokuma stole all my powers. So, I don't even have the authority to monitor everyone anymore. These monitors are useless. Huh? What does that stick have to do with the surveillance cameras? <laughs> anyway, I can't monitor everyone anymore. <laughs> I have no other way of following your movements unless I rely on somewhat nifty ears. I don't really understand, but does that mean Monokuma has been watching us from those surveillance cameras? That's wrong! No, it's probably not him either. In his current state, he shouldn't even need to use those cameras. Really? His power keeps increasing beyond my expectations. He surpassed any standard of measuring it. Hey, stop talking about stuff that doesn't make sense. Who's watching those surveillance cameras? Got it? They probably only matter to the outside? Outside? Do you mean the group that's controlling you and Monokuma? I see, so the people outside the island are watching the footage captured by the surveillance cameras and... <laughs> Brush that whole thing aside. <laughs> There's no way I can do that. Um, but I can't say. Hey. Nope, she's not going to. <laughs> is she trying to cover it up by crying? That's exactly what Monokuma does. This is I thought. I can't trust her at all. Um. I guess we can talk directly to Monokuma. No! I've been splattered with disgrace. Such sticky disgrace. So anyway, you said something about a robber. Are you talking about Monokuma? Mm. Monokuma wouldn't do something as cheap as breaking a lock. Ever since he took over my power, he can do anything he wants on this island as long as he wills it. Power? Will? You're always so melodramatic. 
But if it wasn't Monokuma, does that mean the robber is one of us? <laughs> I'm not doubting my students or anything, but my important thing was definitely stolen. What's your important thing anyway? <gasps> my treasure box! I don't think any of us would steal a marvelous treasure box. But if someone did, why would they steal it in the first place? Um, can you let me know if you find my treasure? <laughs> it's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink light. Well, if I come across it... Alrighty, that's enough of your questions. Now it's my turn to question you. Me? Hey! Why did you suddenly come to the amusement park? It's strange that you're walking around alone. Did something happen? Something did happen. Hmm? Huh? That's right. I don't have time to waste at a place like this. Hey, I need to ask you an important question. Do you know where they are? Somewhere on Jabberwock Island, now you tell me. Hey! Hey! Why, hello there, Monami. Wanna play with your big brother? Monokuma? Eh? What, what's with your sunny invitation? We've never played before. <laughs> come on, everyone's busy. You shouldn't interfere. So hurry up and come play with me. Pull <laughs> oh, my ears! Please don't pull my ears! I'll leave the rest I'll to you! I'll let you students handle the rest. Do your best! Thanks. He always interferes whenever we're discussing something important. I guess he really is monitoring us. No, now's not the time to complain. I should get back to searching for the bombs. I shouldn't waste any more time. Yeah, convenient that he pulls us away, but I doubt Monami would have been able to help us anyway. I left out of the Monami house and returned to searching for the bombs. Okay, on to the next place. Vernon, I don't see the bombs anywhere. Oh, did I... S I guess... I guess we were supposed to go there anyway. I think it will come from rushing. I should try looking somewhere else. Okay, so we can search other places. Okay, let's do Nagumi Castle next. See if there's anything of interest here. I'm also guessing this segment is in here in case you didn't grab the um, hidden Monokuma panels. It gives you a chance to. The bombs shouldn't be small. If I find them, it should be really obvious. Alright, it looks like there's nothing here. Okay, well, let me try. Yeah, let's see. There's nothing else here. Darn it, I don't see the I don't see the bombs anywhere. Nothing good will come from rushing. I should try looking somewhere else. Okay. And so next would be the roller coaster. Okay. No use. There's nothing suspicious here either. Yeah, and that's the only thing we can look at, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's leave. Yeah, Hajime is just gonna keep saying the same thing over and over again every, every time we back up or not. Hi, Fuyuhiko. Hajime, I, I found them. You found them? Yes. Yeah, a, a ton of bombs are piled on top of each other. I didn't expect to, actual, to find actual bombs. What did you expect to find then? Where'd you find them? Near that stupid factory where the life-size Monokuma plushies are made. The plushie factory. Got it. I'll go tell Kazuichi and Akane. Can you can you tell Sonya and Chiaki? Yeah, got it. Damn it. We'll meet in front of the bombs later. Meet in front of the bombs. Well, what's going to happen after that? Will we be able to stop them? No, there's no point in thinking about that right now. I need to tell Sonya and Chiaki about the bombs first. Sonya should be at the central island, and Chiaki should be at the third island. Thank you for the refresher, because I couldn't remember where they were. Okay, so I need to go to the central island and the third island. So I'll just jump cut and meet you guys there. So where's Sonya? There's that ticking bomb in the middle. Huh, that's weird. I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonya! I'm right here! I'm too bad! Just kidding, it's only me! Yes, indeed! I may use call Sonya, but nothing happened! Huh, <laughs> very funny. Because she's already gone to a faraway place. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding! If you're looking for Sonya, she was walking around near the military base! Wait, what? Why? <laughs> the military base? The one on the final island? Did she already hear about the bombs? Is that why she went to the final island? But even so, there's no reason for her to be at the military base. Because the bombs were found at the plushie factory. I don't really understand, but I'll head over there after I talk to Chiaki. Maybe she went to the base on her own without knowing anything about the bombs. Chiaki should be at the third island. Alright, let's go. 
The third island is right outside here. I passed by the uh, gate to it. It's on the left. Hmm. I remember Sonia was, like, very upset that they gave her the central island. I think she wanted the final island. So that's probably why she went there. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Like I said before, I don't really care about the pet at this point. If you raise it and it survives, it'll give you items, but I doubt there's gonna be any more free times. Hmm, near the music venue, is that? It is, it's Kiyaki. Near the music venue, that's this way, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, so we need to tell Chiaki that the bombs are on the other island. Chiaki, I've been looking for you. Chiaki, you okay? What happened? Wow, that was a late response. We don't respond so slowly, it's the bombs. We found the bombs. Hurry over to the plushie factory. Hey, are you listening? This is no time to space out. Yep. Ah, oh, you're right. The bombs are back, right? We gotta go to the plushie factory. I'll head over. At least you're a little more nervous. Even in a situation like this, she moves at a snail's pace. Alright, I should hurry over to the final island and meet up with Sonya at the military base. Okay, let's go. Fifth island. Jabberwock military base. Oh, huh, there she is. Sonya, there she is. What is she doing in a place like this? Well, let's talk to her and find out. Like she's looking for something. It looks like Sonya's digging around in the back of that truck. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> oh. My! Hagime, please do not startle me. I am concerned. Please. I thought my heart was going to explode. Explode? Anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? Um. I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now. We found them. Um... What did you find? The bombs, obviously. They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? huh? The bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should already be there, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. You are right. You are right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly, so please go on without me. Huh? I am sorry! It's going to be fine. I will catch up with you soon. We got it. Then I'll start heading home. I don't know what Sonya wants to do, but there's no time to argue about it. I left Sonya for now and decided to head to the plushie factory. That's not what the dialogue said, but uh, you get them. That's essentially what it said. But why is she even at the military base? I can just ask her later. Anyway, the bombs are the biggest priority. I should hurry over to the plushie factory, which is to the left here. Plushie Factory is an interesting place to put them. I wonder why that place in particular. Because it's Monokuma themed? I don't know. But anyway, let's go inside the factory. We have to go through another screen, of course. Huh? huh? Hmm? Where's Sonya? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. Huh? Later? Why? She should know that now isn't the time for that, but... Well... Can I go bring her? No. Dumbass! Do you really think there's time for that? You're right. We need to stop the bombs first. Damn it! Alright, let's go. We steal our nerds and charged into the factory. Oh, there it is. Wow. First thing I noticed was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck? Why? There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded on the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 hey! on top of the bed, is that it? Damn it! I don't know how powerful they are, or if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but if there are that many, they must be extremely powerful. Can you really drive this truck and carry over all these bombs? Damn it! Kazuichi, can't you disarm these bombs? You're good at that kind of stuff, right? 
Hmm. I thought I could, but it looks like the engine is also acting as the dead in here. Alright, so that's why the engine is still running. The bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off and trigger the explosion. Yeah. I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible. I don't have enough time. A main detonator was put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. It was going to take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost... This is bad! Yeah, noon. Mm. What if we use the tools at the military base? Hey, hey, hey! We don't have time for that. The truck's engine is the detonator, right? Then can't we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use. The, full, the fuel cap has been welded on, too. Wow, Arito really thought of everything. I'm gonna do it! And I'll just drive the truck into the sea. That's not going to help anything. Bastard! You can't. You don't even have a driver's license. Really? That's your concern right now? Huh? Oh, are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. That's a good point. That's a good point. Damn it! Uh, but even that's impossible. There's a chain wrapped around the wheel. Wow. If we can't disarm the bomb, stall for time, or move the truck, there's nothing we can do. Hey, hey! Hey, check it out! Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of that metal box Kazuichi mentioned. Huh? Mm -hmm. A machine on top of the box. Hmm. Oh, this. This looks like a card reader. A card reader? Hmm. Maybe we can disarm the bomb if we swipe the keyboard. You serious? Hmm. Wait, that might be possible. Nagito wouldn't be able to disarm these bombs if he didn't need some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm them from the start. Hmm. No, I don't think that's it. Nagito is probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? So... Knowing Nagito, there's definitely some kind of theme to this. I think. <laughs> she said, I think. It's been a while since we said that. A theme? Hmm. <laughs> he probably wants us to do something messed up like that. We probably oh, would right! do something messed up like that. And we gotta find that. Just leave it to me! Nagito is trying to make us do something here. That's true. What's he trying to make us do this time? Um, is there anything else of interest to look at? What's that? There's a laptop on the top of the stopped conveyor belt. This wasn't here the last time I came here, right? How mm, suspicious. It looks suspicious. It might be good if you examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And almost immediately, a video started playing. Oh, hi, Nagito. Hello there. Why, hello there, everyone. Great work. So you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. Nagito? When do you have time Perhaps. to record this? It looks like a video message from Nagito. You a piss video me message. off. If he's got something to say, he can say it to our faces. Hey, uh, bastard! Hold on. For now, let's just watch this through to the end. Now then. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you scan an e-handbook, it will disarm the bombs. I knew there was going to be an interruption. Listen leave to, it to the me. whole thing first. Alright, if that's the case, then just leave it to me. However... Well, it won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So this is going to be your last chance, traitor. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? Oh, okay. So he does know who the traitor is, okay. And with that, the video ended. The traitor's student handbook? Don't tell oh, me! That's it. This was also a trap to weed out the traitor. Hey, is hey. there seriously a traitor? There is. They should have come forward already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Yeah! Now stop whining and complaining. We should do it at... We should do it one at a time. 
you. Don't be stupid. What if someone besides the traitor uses their handbook? Hey, hey. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Jackie walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took, took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? She scanned it, and without hesitation, swiped the card reader. Hmm, looks like it was wrong. See? Who's next? It was wrong, okay. Then... Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? You make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. True. You think so? But they didn't. <laughs> hey! That's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. Okay. Well, I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped our handbook right away like she did. Hmm. So, what are we gonna do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey, like hey! I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might be safe. Uh, but only once, you know? Huh? Hey, what happened? Well... Nothing. I might just be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then, Kazuichi's face turned pale and he rushed over to the truck. And then, as he tilted his head towards the engine, he suddenly shouted, <gasps> It's in the gas! What'd you say? Uh-oh. Huh? Huh? What's gonna happen if there's no gas? <sighs> I already told you, it's gonna blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Maybe Chiaki swiping her card sped up the process. Are you kidding me? Did Nagito miscalculate? Are you serious? Miscalculate? <sighs> uh, they're gonna set us off. At least get your calculations right. Damn it. At least Monokuma knows how to get the schedule. Are uh, hey, you we, serious? Can't we do anything about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah. Yeah, there's only one thing we can do. Huh? What is it? What do we have to do? Damn it. Pray. Are you what? kidding Are me? You Serious? <laughs> then we should run. And with those words, we started sprinting away, and that's when it happened. It is all right. It is. It is not a bomb. Oh, it's not. Huh? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with dazzling light. Fireworks. <laughs> huh? well, what? What is this? Um. It looks like they're fireworks. I. I think I mentioned in the last episode, um, oh yeah, because I remember when Nagito was giving his huge speech after that explosion, fireworks was highlighted. That's why. Because he used fireworks to get you guys ramped up for nothing. While we stood there dumbfounded, the fireworks slowly decreased their intensity. And eventually... Oh my! This means... It wasn't a bomb? Huh? What the heck? I mean, Nagito said. Why would uh, you trust anything Nagito says? So, it is just as I thought. As you thought? Hey, hey! Hey, everyone. Look over there. The laptop. It looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? Who else would it be? We immediately rushed over to the laptop. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. He's got a point. Damn it! So it was all a bluff. Then what was that bomb he detonated at the hotel? Uh, Nagito went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell Is me! Is that where he got that bomb? And probably the chain that he used on the truck? And probably, um torch to weld everything shut as well. But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an entire island. Nagito was lying about that. You pissed me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If, if he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? It's probably pre-recorded. Hmm. No, it looks like the video is set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey! Let's think about that after we've watched the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So, how did it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess, well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door, waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later. The warehouse next door? 
that's where Nagito is? I won't this forgive time, I'll you. make sure to beat him up. I'm sorry, I don't that's know. Right. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. Oh, what are you saying? Sorry, my headphones glitched. Bastard! You guys can beat you guys can beat him because I'm the one who's gonna kill him. <laughs> mm. You guys, you've totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm. We need to stop them. That is an order! You are right. Let us make haste. Oh, I actually have to walk there. Okay. Well, it's just next door, so I don't really have to do much. Huh? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat him up. Hey, I know how you- I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Wait! Shut up! Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. Akane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It sounds like it's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? If I listen carefully, I can make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music? What's he planning? Is this another one of Nagito's traps? Huh? Maybe the moment we open the door, a real bomb is gonna go kaboom. Now then. Alright, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please, do not, Akane. It is dangerous. Yo! It's fine. Open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Leave it to Seriously, me! Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Oh, it's locked. Huh? Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey! I hey. knew it! It's a trap! Seriously, just stop it, okay? Yeah! Oh, didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What? What happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Wow. Ah! It's gonna blow up! No, it's not. Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves. But, huh? Hmm, what's this? What happened? Yo! Look inside. It's the wrong voice for Akane, but whatever. It sure is dark. Yeah, it is. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? No. Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? Probably. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the music. As if on cue, it suddenly started. What? Oh. What? Huh? It's on fire! A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse like fiery wings spreading before us. Whoa! What? What's going on? No idea, but I'm guessing that's what Akane heard. Oh no! We must extinguish these flames! Let us hurry and put them out! Hey, hey! Oh, how are we supposed to put this fire out? Um... There should be a fire extinguishing... There should be fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those? Damn it. Let's go. Let's head to the break room. After listening to Sonya, we ran into the factory. What break room is this? I'm just gonna talk to Sonya because I have no idea what well? she's talking about. The break room is just beyond the storm. There should be fire extinguishing supplies there. Oh, wow, I've never even noticed that. The break room is here, right? Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? Hold on a second, I just want to check this room because I've never been in here. I just want to make sure that there aren't any hidden monokumas. Nope, there's no okay. found it. Fire grenade? A huge supply of lined up plastic bottles. It looks like there's some kind of liquid inside of them. Everyone! You found it! Those are fire grenades. Fire grenades? Um... They're... They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them at a fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside gets out the fire. It is strange, but no? This is strange. Last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies, too. Hey! There should be plenty. Let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. We grabbed all of the fire grenades and rushed back to the warehouse. Okay. Let's hope this works. 
I've never heard of fire grenades. Are those an actual thing? Um, Make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Then Take care to not inhale the smoke as well. You should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. I like how the uh, warehouse now has the fire animation going on it. It's a nice touch. Damn it! Looks like the curtain in the back is burning up. I just have to aim for that, right? I'm gonna do All it! Right, let's go! I aimed for the curtain in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after the other. But hey, is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? Yeah, it does feel that way. The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenade which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at distinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling! That's our good. <laughs> This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades. Well, what are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain! Is that rain when we effective? Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it! Oh. It's raining? No. So this is the power of the Japanese Terra The what now? That's not it. It looks like the sprinkler's activated. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Water continues to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. Hmm. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. Wow. Looks like the fire is out. Um... That is a relief. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Man, my merch is drenched! It got splattered with water and now it's soaked! It's so wet! Hey, hey! hey is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute! Huh? Ah, time out, time out! You can't! Nuh uh, no way! Why can't we go inside? Hey! Smoke um... and hazardous gas are still spread throughout the warehouse, so it's gotta ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathed in any lingering smoke. So... so, for the sake of your health, please wait for just a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater I've freshly prepared? Uh, nice break of the fourth wall. Cause I'm pretty sure the characters don't watch these. You're so stupid! Everything is a lie. Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. Well, it's technically true. There's no meaning whatsoever. There's no relationship whatsoever. Everything was made. Hanakuma can't be found anywhere. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> okay. I guess. That was one of the weirder Monokuma theaters. Yes, indeed! Yes, now that the Monokuma theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ba ventilating by now. Phew. Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold Why on! Why are your eyes on the front? I got So it. we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. Um... We get it already. Jeez. Not enough. I'll leave okay, the rest to you! Okay, I'll leave the rest to you guys. Ah, I turned on the light for you guys, too. You might hurt yourself if it's dark. Here! Now, now, go ahead. Go right ahead. Ahead! Oh, okay. Is Nagito inside? Hmm. He said he was in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. <laughs> there was so much fire and smoke. I thought I'd finally get the chance to, to beat him this time. Hey, hey. Well, why don't we go inside and see how it's doing? You... Hajime? What happened? Well, nothing happened, but... I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. Uh-oh. As if an intense malaise is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. Anytime you feel bad about a situation, usually someone's died. And I can't even budge. It feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? Well, let's go, go inside the warehouse. Anyway, let's go inside. I 
The charred odor permeated throughout the warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. It smells... Something smells. Hey, hey! not me. I am sorry! Oh, I am terribly sorry. You serious? Oh, Sonia, say it ain't so. Hmm. No, not that. It smells... It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like... Well, that makes sense if there are strange smells when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey! Hey, everyone. Did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean, no? See? I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but there's a space on the other side of it, too. When I looked where Chiaki was pointing, there was still space beyond the burned, tattered curtain. Let's check out the back of the warehouse. I walked towards the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. I'd never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help holding my breath. And then on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malaise that I had been feeling. What? No. No way. Someone killed Nagito? Oh, wow. That is really messed up. I had no idea what I was looking at. Looking at Nagito's dead body. Who killed Nagito? By the time I realized I was looking at the remains of Nagito Kameda, the ultimate lucky student, time had already stopped. And my favorite character in the game gets taken out. Really? Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagito is dead. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. Huh? What? Please stop screaming. What? What's going on here? Are is he you really serious? dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. That's why I can't believe it. Well, believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito is dead. Deep down, I believed that when the killings finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that. There goes the body discovery announcement. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Don't tell me! Body discovery announcement? Then it's for real? Hey! Nagito is really dead? Damn it! It's not, it's not just that he's dead. If the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean Nagito was killed? Killed? That's one of us! It's one of us! I mean, that's what it means, right? Yes. One of us killed Nagito? I know none of us liked him, but this is a bit extreme. One of us killed him so brutally? Then it's going to start again? Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Then... Of course! Yep, we gotta do it! We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is! Hey! No hey. matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? <laughs> then the time for action is now! So allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma font! <laughs> Wait! Hold it right there! Damn it! What? Don't get in my way like that! I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cruel cool way! You stupid Shut brother! Up. I can't stand this anymore! Got it? How much longer are you gonna keep putting them through this? No more! I won't let you! I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions! Hey, hey! Say something! What's this? Oh, now I remember who you are! You wanna me! <laughs> hey! Just now noticed? 
Lies. Anyway, Monami, if we're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> what, you, what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know. Come on, no fair, you're shutting up too. Please, please, enough already. We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, do not say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Hmm? Huh? But... This is I just... Mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as a killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? How many times am I going to read this type of dialogue in this game? I guess every single time. Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't prevent it. What do you mean? Ah. Uh. I know. That's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! <laughs> Looks like you kids are way more well-behaved than Monami. Don't fuck with me! We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I'm definitely making sh I'm def- I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. This is Ah, uh, does that mean you guys are getting bored of this school trip? Actually- Don't worry, the end is near. Huh? The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? You mean the countdown? <laughs> the meaning behind that Monokuma timer. Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? When that timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Hmm? Hmm? This killing skull trip will be over. Hey, hey! This is finally gonna be over. Are you serious? Does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna Don't do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So... So, once again... It's all the right, Monokuma the Monokuma file! file. Phew. You guys need to find out who Nagito's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterward at all. Do your okay, best. Okay, do your best. Wait! Hold on. I won't I, forgive I you. I won't let you escape this time. Wait right there. Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly at an end, it's safe to think we can go home, right? But still... Azubichi, I understand how you feel. But we need to focus on Nagito's case first. Damn it! Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Oh, Very right. true. Let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. However, it is nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer among us. That's true. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was the truth of this previous case. That was, that was the truth of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel? No, it wasn't just that. It, there was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. <laughs> investigate. Well, we will do Nagito's investigation in the next episode. I um, hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support my Patreon. Shout out to my patron, AZ1598525. Thank you for supporting my channel, and subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.